Hi, my name is Robin Wong and in this video I want to talk about the reasons why I don't shoot with full frame. Let's do this! Before we dive too far, here are some important disclaimers. This is not a video to bash full frame system. I am not against full frame system. I'm not against any other camera brands. I've been hearing rumors flying around saying that, hey, Robin is anti full frame. He's against any other camera brands that is not Olympus. He's an Olympus fan. He only says nice things about Olympus. All those rumors are not true. I have been blogging for more than 10 years. I have thousands of articles being published. I have also hundreds of videos being published in this YouTube channel. If you go through any of them, you will not find me talking bad about any other camera system or any camera brands. And I don't do that in real life as well. People who know me and have interacted with me can testify that I am not against any other camera brands. In fact, I celebrate the diversity of the cameras out there. I love that we have all the different brands coming together. Everyone is bringing something to the table. I just don't don't understand how can there be any photographer that hates certain cameras or want to bash any camera brand. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Coming back to the reasons why I'm making this video, why I'm sharing the reasons that I'm not shooting with full frame, these reasons are personal, it may not even apply to you. I'm merely sharing my perspective as a professional photographer, having shooting the Olympus system for more than 10 years now. And I've been receiving a lot of questions from everywhere. People asking me, hey Robin, you know, now that we have a lot of nice full frame mirrorless options, why don't I look into these alternatives? Why am I staying loyal to Olympus. So I'm sharing my reasons here and I admit I did consider going into full frame cameras. There was once after I've quit Olympus, there was that one year plus gap before I was invited to join the Olympus Visionary program. That one year plus I was free to choose or use any cameras and I stayed loyal to the Olympus Micro Four Thirds system. And here are my reasons why. Reason number one, cost. Being a professional photographer, I have to look at my photography as a business. From that perspective, any cameras or lenses that I purchase will be cost to the business. Therefore, it doesn't make sense for me to spend more money on full frame gear if I can achieve similar results or satisfactory results with my current Olympus OMD systems. If we compare the cost, let's take the three most popularly used zoom lenses, the Trinity F2.8 zoom, Olympus 7-14 F2.8 Pro, 12 to 40 f2.8 pro also the 40 to 150 f2.8 pro versus the counterparts or the alternatives from the equivalent full frame lenses you will see that the olympus lenses consistently cost about 50 percent less that is a lot of money why would i want to spend more money getting these lenses from full frame if i can get the same from olympus i can hear some people are screaming equivalence Please, we are not going to go into their argument. Like, you know, some people will say, oh, it's more fair if you compare with F4, F5.6 Zoom. You can't argue that they are definitely cheaper. I'm staying with Olympus. Why would I want to pay more to get a full frame camera? Reason number two, depth of feel. I know some people find me strange being up depth of field because it is full frame's strength. Full frame cameras are able to render shallow depth of field, creating blurry background in comparison to Micro Four Thirds system. If shallow depth of field is your game, you want as much blur in the background as possible to isolate your subject effectively, then going to full frame is a good choice. I'm not going to question that. But I have been shooting with Olympus for many years and I have the Olympus 45 f1.8, 75 f1.8. 1.8, 40 to 150 f 2.8 Pro, and the 25 f 1.2 Pro. Using these lenses, I was able to achieve blur background, shallow depth of field, isolating my subject effectively. I've never once wished that I have blurrier background. It is more than sufficient for the photography that I'm doing. Of course, I can't speak for you again. This is for my own photography. And there are some situations that I'm actually thankful that Olympus has more depth of field in comparison to full frame. For example, when I'm shooting inside macro or when I'm doing close-up photography, instead of using F8 or F16, I can get away with 
just F4 or F5.6, that is what the Olympus or the Micro Photo system, having a smaller sensor, has more depth of feel in comparison to full frame. Reason number three, sufficiency. I acknowledge that full frame camera will give you better dynamic range, cleaner high ISO performance, and more resolution to work with. Currently, the Micro Photo's image sensor is stuck at 20 megapixel limit. Full frame cameras will give you 50, 60 or more resolution if you need them, there's definitely a lot more latitude for you to work with. For me, the OMD system, the Olympus OMD is more than sufficient to deliver fantastic results for my photography. I'm doing wedding photography, portrait, event coverage and lifestyle products. In fact, for wedding photography or most portraits, my clients don't want to see the pores or the imperfections on their face. 10 megapixels is more than enough for what I do and for my stage performance in low light shooting, live music, theater, I seldom go beyond ISO 3200. Most of the time I use ISO 800 or 1600. Of course, I'm using the Olympus F1.8 and F1.2 lenses, which are already very sharp, wide open. I don't need to stop them further to get great results. Therefore, I seldom even have to go up to 6400 ISO. I've never encountered a situation where the dynamic range of the micro photos image sensor was not enough. I have shot a lot of harsh lighting condition. It is always possible for me to balance the exposure, recover details from the shadow and highlight region without destroying the image. I've always able to deliver satisfactory results. I understand if you encounter a very harsh situation, maybe the micro photos image sensor has the limit which will not give you the results that you want. If you constantly shoot in extremely low light situation, you need to use ISO 6400 or beyond, then maybe micro photos camera is not suitable for you. Or if you're doing product photography and that commercial product photography requires high resolution and 20 megapixel is not sufficient, you need 50 megapixel or more, then maybe Olympus is not the camera for you. But I'm not doing this kind of photography within the boundaries of the photography that I do, Olympus OMD is more than sufficient for me. Reason number four, size and weight. I have had many photographer friends who actually use full frame DSLRs for many, many years now. And you know what? I can easily name five of them who have suffered all kinds of injuries, shoulder injury, back injury, slip this, all from carrying their full frame gear, which were really, really heavy. And you know, it, it's just not worth it having to lug around so much weight. To me, it makes no sense. And even using Olympus, now not the, the Micro Four Thirds system, Olympus DSLR, I've been shooting with Olympus DSLR, the E5, E520, and I carry around about three to four lenses. On my shoulder, I've been shooting weddings for several years using that. And in, I remember in 2013, when my mom was hospitalized in Kuching, Borneo, I went home to accompany her and I was spending time with her in the hospital. I slept at, on the hospital floor. I could feel that my back was starting to hurt after years of using the Olympus E5, E520, and a plethora of Olympus 4 thirds DSLR lenses. Those were not even the heaviest cameras and lenses in the market. And I know that the newer full frame cameras, the mirrorless full frame cameras are a lot lighter, but the equivalent lenses that I want, the lenses that produce the quality that I seek, these lenses are not small and these lenses are definitely not light. Considering all the weight, I don't think it is worth compromising my health. I do want to continue doing photography, whether shooting professionally or continue doing my own personal photography projects, or I definitely want to continue doing shutter therapy for the next 20 or 30 years. Smaller and lighter gear makes much more sense. This is where the Olympus OMD system comes in. Not just that the camera is small and light, but the lenses, the lenses are equally small and light to match the camera. 
That's all the reasons that I'm sharing on why I don't use full frame camera. Do you agree with my reasons? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you found my sharing useful, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal account. I'll put the links in the descriptions below on how you can do that. Any small contribution can go a long way and help me to make more videos, similar videos to be published right here in this channel. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and please go out and take more photographs and always, always stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.